Okay, today's taping is for patella or quadriceps tendinopathy to help reduce the pain so you can train and strengthen it up. Now I'm going to show you the taping we use for both. There'll be just slight modifications with your patella or with your quadricep tendinopathy. So remember, patella below the knee, patella tendon, quadriceps tendon above the kneecap. All right. So we're going to use kinesio taping today because we are doing tendon muscular taping, not ligament stabilizing joint taping. If we were stabilizing a joint, we'd be using rigid taping, which doesn't stretch because we want to lock down a joint. We're not doing that. We want this knee to move. We're just trying to offload it and reduce the load through the tendons so you can handle some strengthening. So elastic, stretchy, kinesio taping or K-tape is the go. First one we're going to do is a double layer for the entire, just about the entire quadriceps. We're going to use your rectus femoris at the top as the muscle that we're going to use because that goes straight down the middle. So it's the easiest one to use to facilitate and use for that tape anchor. So what you want to think of is you're going to go right up that quad, okay? A long anchor for this one, and obviously short one down onto the tibia for, the, for down here. So you've got to measure that out. Now, don't make the mistake of measuring it all the way down like that and thinking that that's how long it needs to be because you're going to stretch this tape. So you need to actually come back. I would go back maybe to the top of the kneecap because then when you stretch it, it's going to lengthen out. And you're probably looking at a 75% stretch. So having that bit there is going to be good. So I would go for about that mark. So you turn it around, okay, and see how many squares you've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a bit. We might go six and a half. And then you're going to do two of those. So just double it. So then you've got your two lengths like that. Easiest way of doing it. Chop it off wherever you want. Now, the trick is always with all kinesio taping is like we got taught, round those edges off because what that'll mean is it doesn't sort of get caught on material and things and doesn't come off that easy. So do that one, chop through this end and do the same on that end, okay? So now I've got two lengths exactly the same with rounded edges. So with this, I'm gonna come on that quadriceps, but I wanna do it at length. So the best thing to do, pop that leg off the side of the bed so she's in about, sort of around about 80 degrees away, just so this is now lengthened, okay? We wanna do a bit of length for that because they got about a bend in the knee. If you do it here and you do that tight tape, as soon as they bend the knee, it's gonna rip the tape off. So give them a little bit of that. It doesn't have to be full flexion, about halfway. Now, with all taping, make sure that the anchor is what we call zero, all right? Meaning no tension. Always start down the bottom. If you start on the top and you run out of range, that's no good. So start down the bottom, then you just, you just go as high as you can. So think of where that patella tendon is, right? So you've got the bony point of your issue tuberosity, you've got patella here. You wanna go below the anchor point. So I would go down, sort of on that tibia, on the shin bone, but for this one, go a little bit lateral. We're gonna do one lateral, one medial, but they're gonna cross over in the middle. So it's not directly in the middle, it's just off to the side, okay? And that anchor, like I said, you've got about maybe two inches of zero tension, all right? And really push that down so when you pull, it's not gonna come off, all right? And the other thing too is make sure their skin, just FYI, is clean and hasn't got any sort of like cream or anything on it, all right? From that point there, then what you're gonna do is come over that kneecap by, if you look at it, I'm not directly over the center, I'm off to the lateral, but I'm over top of it, okay? And you can do what we call a little bit of a round the kneecap if you like. So I'm gonna come out on an angle, and I've got about 50% tension here, around that kneecap, and then come back in line. Not completely in line, just I'm still from medial lateral, all right? midline lateral say, get that down a bit and then you crank it up to about 75% up that quad. Think of like in line and notice I've left the anchor point at zero again. So see that? I've gone to here and then I can just go whoop and do that. Now you can go even higher if you want to but I've covered a lot of quad there which is great. And remember we're not doing it like a full you know high rectus femoris injury we're doing with dealing with this so that is how far you need to go. Make sure you just push all that down, okay? Then your same one, or the second one, is over top of that by half because you're covering the middle again. So now, it's easy to see, you just go half of that, 
All right, and that means you've got a double layer in the midline and a single layer lateral and single layer medial. And again, same sort of thing. Once you've got that anchor on at zero, pull it to about 50% around that kneecap. Come back in line so you're covering half the tape again. See that? And then what I would do is pull it up 75. Up you go. And hopefully if you've done it right, you're pretty much the same at the top. Okay? Now, what that's doing is it's covering around the kneecap, which is sort of quite nice for that kneecap, gives a bit of support. Lock all that down. You need that for both the patella and the femoral, uh, patella and the quadriceps taping because you're trying to engage the whole quadricep length from muscle to insertion down in the tibia. Okay, so that's regardless. I'd always do that one. Then the next one is determines whether you're doing quadricep or patella. I'm going to show you both. What I would then do is bring them back into that position there because we're not dealing with a long tape anymore. We're going to go cross. So this one, what you measure, if you're going to do, um, say we do quadriceps, you go, I'm going to go around about from there to about there. How many is that? That's going to be about sort of four, all right? Um, it doesn't matter if you go overshoot this a bit because it can just, the anchors can just wrap around the back of the knee. That's fine. I would do one or two of these. Depends on how weak they are. I've got a guy at the moment who's actually got a tear in the quadriceps tendon. So they've got a quadriceps tendinophy and then they've gone and done a tear. So they had an old tendinophy and they got a tear. So he needs sort of a double layer to really help with the tear. So those really weak ones, you might find you need two of these, one's just not enough. And what this does is it really supports the tendon, okay? Gives it that sort of extra strength, if you like. And if you come sideways, it's really helpful. So with this, what I would do is go both off like that. Now this is a little bit different way of doing it. You know those anchors we talked about? What I would do is have your fingers like that so your anchors are on either side, all right? Then you go right above that kneecap, okay? You can come on a little bit on top of the kneecap, a little bit, just to cover the real insertion point of that. Jeez, my bed's moving. The insertion point of the quadriceps tendon. Go on top of that, crank it up to 100%, pull it down, and then what we talk about the anchors, They've got to be zero, okay? So that is zero, and so is that one, all right? So there's one, okay? Make sure that's all sticking down. I like to do two because, hey, if one starts coming, the other thing about two is if this one starts coming off, the whole thing's going to go. If you've got another one on top, it'll only come off a little bit, so you're going to be safe with that. So this one will be your second. If you're going to do two, don't go directly over top. Give it a bit more either. If you overshot that, especially if you, if you bend your knee and you think, oh, I need to go low, I need, I've gone too low, I need to go higher, you can, this one you can adjust and either go higher by a little bit or lower by a little bit, depending on where you put that first one. Okay, so we're going to say go higher a little bit. And then same drill, pull it down, anchor that, get that nice and flat through there, get that nice and flat through there, all right? That's really helpful. So when they bend their knee and they load it, they're gonna feel that pressure on there, which is gonna give them a bit of support. So that's what you do if you've got a quadricep one. If you've got a patella, you don't do both, but if you, usually people don't do both. If you've got a patella, what I find is, if you go around the back of the knee like that, you start running out of anchor. And if you really need to lock that patella down, it's really hard because you end up sort of crushing the back of the knee and back of the calf. So what I like to do, instead of putting it around this way, I go up, which is very similar to the taping for patellofemoral pain. Like when you're trying to offload the patellofemoral joint and maybe lift the kneecap out of the joint or you're trying to protect the fat pad, that sort of thing, this is the way I do it. So it's almost like the similar, we'll say the same taping as that. With this one, again, measured a little bit, you're gonna think, okay, I'm going a little bit longer, so it's probably gonna be longer than this one. So you might go, okay, I'm gonna do five of those. Again, do two. Okay. You'll find that, you know, with these things, you'll go through a lot of taping, but hey, it's worth it. So, round the corners. Round the corners. Easy peasy. This one, same sort of drill. Take that right off. So you've got full control of that, like that. Then you come underneath, feel where that patella tin or the patella is, you know the patella tin is a little below that. 
come below again. You're going to do two, so if you overshoot one or put it in the wrong spot, then you've got another one to do. But this one, I would really pull that down 100%, all right? Then pull up a bit, sort of almost vertical, but you're going on back like a 45 degree angle, and then wrap it down so you're covering that lateral quite, and then it goes around a little bit, almost to the back of the hamstring there. Same on this side. Okay, you can just roll that leg over a little bit, grab that, put it on that side there. Okay, there's your first one. Make sure those anchors are down. And your second one, again, like you did with that, you can see what you did with that quadricep one. You're gonna now come either above or below wherever you put that one, not completely over it. Okay, so I'm gonna go below, below that. And that gives me sort of coverage over the actual tuberosity as well. Grab that. Lots of tension there, okay? And then zero tension at the top. Just be careful you don't make a crease in that. Come in this way, have a look at that. I really do like having these ones quite long because the more anchor around the back of that hamstring, the better. If you're just coming on the side, it tends to just peel off. You need to sort of go around the back of the knee with that. Okay, so then when they stand up on that, if you ever stand up for me, you'll see when she loads onto this one, okay, she stands on one leg, you're gonna have this and this supporting those two tendons when she bends her knee. So if you bend your knee, then it's gonna go tight. She'll feel the tension of this. She'll feel the tension of that. And then this one is activating the quads because you need the quads activated to help with the strengthening part of that. So there's your taping, hope that helps. Also, if you're wondering where to get Kinesio tape from, it's at our shop. You can get pink, as we've done. We've got blue, black, red, we've even got beige. So if you need some Kinesio tape, head to shop.physiorehab.com and you can get it all there.